starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us for KX News at 10. I'm Renee Cooper. In our top story tonight, approximately 70 to 80 percent of all new mothers experience the baby blues after giving birth, according to the American Pregnancy Association. These symptoms typically peak around the fifth day of postpartum, then disappear about after two weeks. Hannah Davis met with mothers whose symptoms just wouldn't go away. I had a lot less um, energy. Um, I didn't have any desire to do anything really. Within the first couple of weeks of the birth of her third child, Jessica Donna Maria knew something wasn't right. So at her six week checkup, she was honest about what she'd been experiencing and got help. I did start medication right away. And then about three months later, like so about December-ish, it wasn't um, working the best. At times making things worse actually. According to Child Health USA, approximately 12% of new mothers experience postpartum depression. This can include feelings of anger and anxiety, a loss of appetite, and general irritability that lasts longer than two weeks. I feel like society in general right now is um, teaching mothers and parents that we need to practice resilience over empathy, that it's more important that we keep pushing through and it'll be better on the other side rather than like digging deep and being in that hard space with a mom while she's in it. I want to change that narrative. Like Donna Maria, Gant wasn't satisfied with the answers she received, so she started her own search. Now she's working to get her postpartum doula certification to help parents transition into their new roles. By taking better care of the women who are taking care of these babies, you're, you're pouring into their cups and they'll be able to pour better into their children's lives. These mothers agree it's not about reducing the attention to the newborns. It's about checking in on the parents as well. For KX News, I'm Hannah Davis. For mothers dealing with postpartum depression, the American Psy Psychological Association recommends speaking openly about your feelings both with your loved ones and your doctors. They say keep asking for help until you find the right treatment method for you.